All right, Thanksgiving now four days away. Jeff Harrington here with how this next storm system might impact our holiday plans, Jeff. Yeah, you know, Steve, for the first time in a long time, we had those sunglasses if you were driving rather than those windshield wipers going. A lot of dry time today, and that will continue. Only thing is, it's a little cool out there. That will also continue. So temperatures right now, we're below that 60 degree mark, 59 in Sacramento, 54 in Marysville and Yuba County, 50, 43, excuse me, in Grass Valley in Nevada County. So you've got some upper 50s as you head down the San Joaquin Valley, but there are some changes coming. But look, we're going to stay dry through the night, through the early hours. You will see those clouds thicken up about 5 a.m. in Sacramento. But as a result, the temperature won't dip down as much. You got a few clouds in the sky for the foothills as well. Then we're looking at a mostly overcast start start to the day and we will time out exactly when I think that rain will kick into gear because for the most part it's going to stay locked into the San Joaquin Valley this time right through to the hills forecast tonight not too bad 48 in Sacramento 36 in Pollock Pines 46 in Stockton and a 41 in Sonora in Tuolumne County so that temperature is actually warmer than where we should be at this time of the year that's because we got the cloud deck thickening up 54 tomorrow, almost 10 degrees colder than where we should be. So it's going to be a cold rain. I don't even know if I can call it rain. It's more like showers that we're going to be dealing with. Across the board, most of us are locked into the 50s, 54 for us, 53 in Davis, 56 in Calusa, and we've got a 53 in Jackson. I want to show you the national temperatures. I mean, Thanksgiving, as Steve was saying, a few days away if you're doing travel. We do have this cool pool of air across most of the country. Look at that difference in Texas, 86 in Houston and 62 two in Dallas. OK, now when that wet weather moves in, we'll stop it right about here. This is now 10 a.m. on Monday. We got that wet weather through the San Joaquin Valley. Then I think we'll get a few rain chances through the afternoon. But the better bet for Sacramento to see some of that rain. This is now Monday at 5 p.m. So right through to the evening, we'll have a few waves of rain move through. But look at that rain toward the hills. Of course, we've got that snow up in the Sierra with those gusts of about 50 miles per hour. For the most part, Tuesdays are looking good, mostly dry and then Beyond that, it is looking like a dry stretch for Thanksgiving, but it will stay cool. How much rain are we looking at? Just under a quarter in Sacramento, but again, the higher amounts as you head toward the hills, close to about an inch in Grass Valley, and 79. Uh, quarter of an inch, I should say, in Colfax. Up to the board, the high country, we're looking at one to two feet. This will be above 5,500 feet, and this is a storm system, so the winds will be a factor in the high country. We'll see gusts tomorrow exceeding, pushing past 20 miles per hour, but really all day on Monday, those winds will be a factor. As we were saying, could see some gusts up to 50 miles per hour in the high country, and we can expect the return of those chain controls. 54 in Sacramento tomorrow is what we're looking at. Yolo and Solano temperatures will be in the lower 50s here as well. And for Calusa, our buckle 55, Calusa at 56 degrees. Taking a look at the next seven days right now. First alert action days Monday, Tuesday with that round of wet weather coming through. But after that, we do have a dry stretch, but just a cool stretch. 55 Thanksgiving Thursday, Steve. That's right, cold uh, for this time of the year. A brisk run to feed the hungry in Sacramento. <laughs> Exactly. this year. Thanks for that, Jeff. You're